Okay, I think we are live. Hello everyone. Hello dear Patreons. I hope you are there with me. Thank you so much for your support. I really do appreciate it. Let me know if you can hear me, you can hear my voice, if you can hear the sound and I will begin. Today we have the snare model. Last time it was the cymbal. Today will be the snare again. I'm using only braids today in snare mode as a sound source and we will see where we can go with it. So let's see, let's start with something um, melodic, let's say. So I will use ions from the Geodesics collection, um, the new skin. <laughs> That's amazing, it looks amazing. So let's see. Let's use a global clock, um, BPM. Let's say 133. I don't know. Again, if you are there, just let me know that you can hear me and that everything is okay. Okay, so we have this here. Let's multiply this by four already, let's say. Maybe it's too quick, maybe not. Let's use um, quantum. You know what? Let's first hear how this uh, snare sounds like anyway. Let's see. So here we can um, change the noise amount. And the decay. And here the tone. Very nice, so maybe something like this. Okay. So now we will use the blue sequence. Let's change the parameters of the blue sequence first. Let's send this to quantum. Let's use this simple scale. And also at the trigger from quantum. Ooh, snappy. Nice, I want to modulate this. <laughs> let's divide it by uh, two and let's use an envelope. Um, let's use the, uh, the ADSR from Bog Audio. Let's see, so it will receive this from the clock. I will need a VCA because I want, or some sort of attenuation because I want to control the range of this modulation. So let's send it through the VCA. Now I want a longer attack, but pretty much a quick um, decay or release. Some reverb. Oh, that's nice. Very cool. Okay, let's add another one and use the, um, the second sequence from ION. So I will need another quantum, another um, snare module. Um, I don't know about the uh, noise for now. Let's change the settings of the yellow sequence. Maybe make it with a bit more energy so the notes will go higher or lower even. And let's see how this will sound like. Trigger, roll per octave. Hey Vim, how are you? I hope you can hear everything. How are you Vim? Let's add some pre-delay on this uh, reverb. Nice. 
Very nice. Sounds fine. Excellent. I'm also doing well. I'm excited. Uh, this weekend is Super Bowl. I'm really excited. Okay, let's see what we can do. I want maybe to modulate the panning of the second voice. So let's add brains, also geodesics. Wow, those uh, new skins look amazing. Super booth should be really nice, yeah. Let's use the, the multiplied clock by four and use the sample and hold to modulate the panning. Just of the second voice. That's really nice. Penimated by animated. And um, where is it? I never used this one. Let's see. Oh, so you just send. Yeah, let's try this. So you, I have to send. Let's see. I will send the voice to the input and I have two outputs. Let's solo this. Nice. Very cool. Sine wave, triangle wave, sawtooth, square, random. It's not moving. Uh, slow, high. So with sine wave, with the sine wave it worked. But not with the random. Triangle works also, so tooth works also, square. A bigger offset? What do you mean I've got different waves? Ah yeah, that's what I'm looking you know. Square, but here random it looks like it stops. The offset will just offset it left and right, but the f something here. Oh okay, maybe the frequency was a bit down. Nice, very cool. So now we have the panning. Oh, the depth. Okay, modulated by panimated, which is which looks it looks nice. And we can sync it also with the clock. This will be nice. Oh yeah. Okay, let's continue. Let's see what else can we do. Let's add some more drums, so more snare-like uh, sounds. Again, another snare. Yeah, really nice, uh, Vim. Thank you for mentioning this module. I don't know which sequencer to use. I thought about using the one from Impromptu, the uh, Gate Sequencer, Dark Valor. And let's do something like this. Let's already change the um, clock resolution. So something we can use, let's say 12. And I will use a multiplied uh, by 24 clock. So we have two times, so two so it, it will be a uh, quicker by two or it will be multiplied by two actually because the clock resolution is 12 so times 12 means one <coughs> and times 24 means times two actually okay maybe 48 even so we have times four do we have 48 here yes Let's reset everything with the clock. I hope it was uh, um, clear this what I've done here with the clock. Really, you also made the on the run. I don't know. I just I've downloaded the um, the um, synthy from Arturia, and I, I said to myself, why should I not try it in VCV Rec? Okay. So now what we can do, we can add some. Let's do this. We can add some triggers. And now here I can add another trigger. I can change its resolution also. No. No. Hmm. 
oh yeah and now what I can do I can change the probability of this step so it will not play all the time very cool let's add another voice let's see And again, we can add another um, step, but with probability. Maybe another one. Yes. Let's add also a filter after this um, snare or uh, after braids, because I want to pump up the, the lows a bit. There is a small or a small or short sequence uh, from I think it's from Bidon no, Dibis, I think. Yeah, the four sec. No, but I don't want to use this. Let's use the ADDR because I want to make this. So we'll have just two steps and we will take um, where is it the clock from the divided by two will reset everything and the sequencer will go to the Volproctor. Fausto, hi! <laughs> hi Fausto, anti we anti vim yeah. <laughs> we can add also here in the mixer a bit more loads. Yeah. Okay, let's add. Let's add another snare. What shall we do with it now? Maybe again something melodic. So let's use another ADDR. Let's use another quantum. This time uh, we will have five steps. But we will let, I think, the sequencer run the ADDR sequencer. So the gate sequencer. So let's do one, two, three, four, and then the four and a half will be with probability. And then again, one, two, the two and a half will be probably, I don't know why I say two and a half and four and a half, it's just, I look at this as one step, I don't know why. Okay, now this will run the sequencer again, let's reset everything. Sequencer will go to quantum, quantum to the volt per octave of the snare trigger. This will go to our mixer. Let's do something like this. Maybe 
some delay. I need a different time. Nice. The raindrops, yeah. I like those blips and bloops here. <laughs> Let's add another snare. I know I'm using so many modules, but I'm just trying to figure out um, as many ways as I can to create all sorts of sound, sounds from them. Let's use the um, the T-Rex module from uh, Aura Devices, Beat Crusher, and Sample Rate Reduction. Let's use the fourth row of the sequencer, and we will do something in the offbeat. Let's do something like this, maybe. I don't know if it will sound nice or not. Let's make here something with probability, a step with probability. Okay, this will go to T-Rex and let's send this to the mixer. Let's solo this for a second. Okay, let's see. All the way wet. Let's see with some noise. Oh, I liked it here. And let's see what happens when we start using some FM. So I will send, for example, the first uh, snare drum to the FM input. Open the tenue burter. I don't like it. Let's leave it like this for a second, but what I want to do is I will start modulating with sample and hold some of the parameters here, so we have some movement going on. I don't like this so much. This was better. No, let's leave it like this. This was nice. Let's pen now with the sample and hold, modulate the panning. Just some atmosphere. We can also send this to clouds and have even more atmospheric background. Blend all the way up, spread some feedback, maybe reverb all the way up. Let's solo this. Density, uh, texture all the way up so it's nice and smeared. We can modulate the size with the sample and hold with brains. This is a weird sound here, but hey, that's how it is. Okay, let's do something like this now. Let's add another snare. And what I will do now, I will use an LFO, let's say the LLFO, 
square wave to trigger the snare module. But it will trigger it in an uh, audio rate. So it will uh, create, it will oscillate. Just noise. this vocal um, texture to this. Let's try to modulate this with a sample and hold. Oh yeah! Let's modulate also the color here with the sample and hold, but I will attenuate it. That's really interesting, eh? A flanger? Let's see, let's first modulate the color here again with brains, but just a bit. Also modulate the panning here. Let's use another pen animator that liked it before. Um, let's do this. This we go here to the input and sync it also with our clock. And let's use the multiplied by four clock. Flanger. What we can do, we can send the same voice to all right devices and create a sort of a chorus and maybe when modulating it, it will give us the effect of a flanger. Maybe. Let's see. Let's solo this. Let's use uh, ping pong, for example. Yep. So let's use, we have another LFO here, a slower LFO? No. So let's add another L, 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 F, O. Slow. Maybe a triangle wave. And we will modulate the time. Oh, and we will use the sample and hold. Your cat is watching. Nice. Let's use the sample and hold to modulate the feedback amount. That's it. I'm going for it. Open up. How it sounds like with the other voice? <laughs> nice.
Let's try to add another lead sound, maybe something more sustained with lots of reverb. We will use this uh, same technique with the LFO. Technique, I don't know if it's a technique, but it's something that works because I want a steady pitch. So I don't want something percussive, I want something with a sustained. Let's send this to the mixer. But I want a higher pitch. Let's use, what shall we use here? Maybe some sort of folding? First of all, let's start with changing the pitch. So what I will use, I will sample um, what's coming out, let's say, of the blue ions with the lower brains. This will go to the input. And I will use a much slower clock division. So what I can do, let's move everything here. I can add a clock divider. I can add another clock, but for what? We can just use a clock divider. Um, let's use the one from synth kit i hope it will work uh, correctly this time and let's divide this by eight this will be the clock for the sample and hold and this will go to the lfo this is noisy is not so good maybe seven is better because eight eight it will receive always the same pitch also seven doesn't seem to work so much let's use the divided by two why is that not kosher here. No. Okay, I don't know why it doesn't work. So let's use a different sample and hold. I will use the one, maybe I'm doing something wrong. If you notice that I'm uh, missing something there, let me know. I will use the one from Bog Audio. So again, the input will come from our quantizer. The gate, oh, what have I done here? The gate will come from the divided by seven clock. And this will go. the pitch no. okay I think it's the volt per octave input here something is weird what we can do is something like this just to be sure we can use constants Constants from ML and let's see. No, it's working. Five, seven, three, five. Sequential switch. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I will use the one from the fundamental modules. We need just four steps. 
So again, five, five, seven, three. Let's use the divided by four o'clock. And this will go to the volt per octave. Let's add also a slew limiter to create this glide. of reverb. I don't know why it didn't work with the sample and hold, but that's how it is. Let's try to use FM here. Um, let's see, let's use again the first oscillator. Let's do, I like this, that it's noisy like this, but... So now we have, if you listen, the first... The first sequence doubled through the FM. But I want to... Let's use West Coast. From Lindenberg Research, I want to add some... Some more character to the sound. Oh, and I know what we will do in a second also. Okay, let's see. Let's see. First of all, let's deal with this here. Um, let's send this through West Coast. Maybe saturation. What was this? Something went wrong with Plateau. It happens to me sometimes. And it's coming from a Plateau. I hope now it's okay. Yeah. Let's modulate this with another LFO, or I can use, yeah, another LFO, I want it to be really slow. This is a sequential switch, this is not an LFO. Let's make this slow, really slow, modulate the, the gain. Let's put the offset all the way up, so we have a, a unipolar signal. And now what I want to do, and with this, I think we will finish. I, wa I want to crunch <laughs> some of the drum noises, the drum noises, the drum sounds with Rampage. So let's use uh, shades or the mixer from Audible Instruments and let's mix. Let's see. Let's mix, let's use this here. This is our snare. So I will send this to the mixer. And maybe the second voice here, this bass voice also. And maybe also... What else do we have here? Yes, this one here. Those raindrops. Those were, let's follow the blue, this here. Okay, 
so now let's mix them so they will all come out from um, this output here mixed and I will use rampage very nice and let's see let's solo this for a second solo a channel here let's use the rising output and we will send this to rampage and by changing the rise and fall times you ready? yes without boring, no it's not boring but it lacks character now with What do you guys say? What do you say? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it's subtle, but it adds this character to the sound, this crunchiness. I like it. Kraftwerk are married a frog. Sure. Yeah, this uh, vocal. Not this one. No. This one. Which is crazy because all what's going on here is an LFO is triggering uh, at audio rate the snare module and by changing the, the pitch you get those uh, formants those, this, this <laughs> which is cool Maurice, hi Maurice, thank you for joining but I'm, I think we are soon done here but thanks Anyway. This is a really blips and bloops uh, kind of patch. I really like it.
Okay, guys, I think that's it. Thank you again for your support. Really, thank you so much. You guys are awesome. And thank you for joining me also today. Yeah, I think it will be up tomorrow evening, probably. The video, the recorded the live stream. So you can check it out. Thank you, Vim. Okay, guys. Have a good one. Thanks again. Fausto, thank you. Have a good one, guys. Ciao.